I was on my way down the hill and I noticed here that we have a ripe cantaloupe, which has already let itself off. These are little cute cantaloupes. They're delicious, totally delicious. We got our first one the other day. Small, delicious, local variety of cantaloupe of some sort. Here's one, and there is another one here that I see is turning. Ah, look at that, it's already just kind of hanging, jammed in there. So there's two beautiful little cantaloupes. This one here is significantly bigger, but it is not ready yet. Should be ready quite soon. These are being quite helpful because they're turning yellow and uh, giving us a nice aroma, letting us know that they're done. And I notice we have more passion fruit. They're all jammed up back behind the fence there and all over the ground here. So probably better pick these up. Decided to come down here to see the yams and the cassava and see if there are any more bananas or plantains we can harvest and bring back to the house because we have just about run out of them. Yams are looking pretty good here. Something's been chewing or rotting the leaves a little bit though. I don't know what that is. They don't usually have much in the way of trouble. Cassava's looking good in these next couple of rows. Yeah, see a little more damage there. Who knows? Looks like we have a bird's nest in this one. <laughs> Look at those cassava. A few more months we'll be pulling these out. I planted these Mexican sunflowers over here. These are Tithonia diversifolia, not to be confused with Tithonia rotundifolia, which is the orange annual Mexican sunflower. These are the perennial one that is awesome for fertilizer. And when I get a property of my own, I'm going to make great banks of these things in between other crops so I can chop and drop them and use them regularly for feeding the other plants and for making mulch. Here are the pigeon peas. They are a foot or two taller than me now. As I walk underneath them, you can see they're actually over my head. Looking pretty good. Up here, there's some bananas we could probably pull. And eat them green. Isn't this great? Look at all these pigeon peas. These are also adding nitrogen to the soil, which makes them a double benefit, not just a crop that we'll be eating from, but improving the soil and shading out the weeds beneath as they grow taller here. It'll help keep the land clear. Okay, there's some plantains. I'm gonna take this one down and bring it back to the house. Not bad. It's a couple of meals there. Pumpkin vines are looking good. We've got some flowers just about to start. Look at them sprawling all over here. We've gotten a lot of rain lately. It was dry for a bit, but now it's been raining and raining and raining and raining. So these guys are just having a great time. So are the weeds though. Probably need to get back down here and knock down stuff and stuff around them so they can have plenty of space to run. These are some tropical pumpkins, great big things. Maybe 16, 20, 24 pound pumpkins. Cooker beat a machado most likely. I decided to wander across the creek. I'm right in the middle now. 
but I want you guys to see this old wrecked house that we found up here past that big stool of bamboo. It's really cool looking. Up above the creek now. And there's old debris from some sort of a colonial house. I'm going to go up and show you the rest of it. Beneath this bamboo and kapok tree, above the creek, here is a ruined wall with a window through it. And there's all kinds of debris and leftover walls here. Old pillar supports. And then a water tank here. And it goes further up into the hill. Love to know what used to be here and what it used to look like. The uh, tropical rainforest eats things very quickly, so after a while it's amazing you can see anything at all. More ruins. Not exactly sure what they had here. I was guessing it was a hearth of some sort, but I don't know. Multiple chambers. I don't know, maybe one of you guys will have an idea what this is. At the edge of what may be the chimney or the hearth or whatever, there are multiple pillars here. Like they're coming into the room maybe, supporting the edge of the property. But then this is just See, there's one, two, three pillars in a row. And then outside here, this is just a big jumble of fallen stone and masonry, and bricks. And it goes back over here. And then back there is where I just was showing you the old window structure, which you can see right here. That's the side of it, underneath the kapok tree and the bamboo. That's the hearth area where I was just standing behind, and then up here, past the pile of rubble, there is what's left of some brickwork and some stone and concrete. Some more rubble and more rubble. And back here, we're going to go look at that uh, window showing through underneath the bamboo. Okay, looking at it now, it's obvious that was not intended to be a window. It just looks like it's broken away. And this was part of a wall up here over this steep drop incline here down to the river. But the bamboo is making short work of it and it's falling probably in a couple more decades. We won't be able to see this at all. It'll all be lost underneath piles of jungle debris and washing mud coming down. Pretty amazing. Love to know what it looked like back in the day. It's nice to see all you guys here. I appreciate everybody coming over from the Mother Earth News online summit. That was a lot of fun. Um, we are nearing 11,000 subscribers on this channel, which is really cool, especially considering that I don't think anybody has mixed gardening and rap on the same channel before, even though that was sort of an accident. I started rapping because I cut through the tendons in my finger with a machete and I was throwing the occasional guitar into the videos and then I decided to just rap instead and it turns out I'm actually pretty good at it. So thank you all for watching. I don't know what you're supposed to learn from today's video other than it's fun to wander through the jungle and look at ruins, but I'm glad you joined me. Be sure to like and subscribe and catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. Catch you next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green.
I wonder if every time I come to the river, the snails are like, no, no, don't eat us. I know you're gonna eat us. 